that it's really interesting to see myself and other Latinas stepping out amongst the crowd. And personally, my family, in my family, out of my parents, I'm the first one to go to a university, and so I think that's really accomplishing in and of itself. My family's from Mexico. I was born in Mexico City. I have a twin brother. We're originally from there, but we moved here when I was two so that we could have a better education. Yes, first person to go to um, high school in general. So going to college is another step forward in the right direction. I'm like, yes, I can. I'm waving the flag. I'm taking the flag so my siblings can follow me. To be the first one in my family, um, it's an honor. But at the same time, um, my family doesn't completely understand. Trying to explain to my mother what I'm studying or what, I, what I'm doing, um, I know she's there supporting me, but at the same time it's limited because I am the first one in my family to be going to college. Me and my brother always kind of knew we had to go to college because times were changing and also my parents weren't fortunate enough to go to college because my dad went into the Air Force and my mom just went into working, so she always wanted better for us and she wanted us to actually go to college and get a degree. So sophomore year, I was the broadcast girl for my school's newscast, and then junior year, we visited KSAT 12, and so after that, um, I really liked it a lot more, and then I looked up the major itself and what it entailed, and so I liked that a lot. Ever since I was a little kid, I liked to draw and color. I remember my mom would punish me by taking away my crayons, and so I guess, it evolved once I entered high school and I entered the printing and imaging program and I was taught how to use the software and it was just natural to me. I became so attached to it I could spend the whole class just in the computer without listening to anybody. My passion for uh, communication and journalism started in high school um, when I was taking an intro to communications class my junior year. Uh, my teacher, uh, Melissa barnett Koshin, she's actually the one who taught the class and. Uh, She's the one who really got my perspective for journalism communication to broaden and I, I fell in love with it. Um, it's really stressful. It's a challenge most of the time, but I'm doing something that I love. You know, working on Tiger TV sometimes doesn't even feel like work. It's just something that I love to do and so it's really nice to be able to do that while also focusing on my studies and focusing on getting my tuition paid for. Journalism is something that I started doing in seventh grade and I've carried it through all the way through high school and it's something that I have developed a passion for and I think that I have a talent at. So I want to pursue it as a career option and see where I can go with it. Thinking about the cost of college kind of hurts you in your gut a little bit because it's so much money. And you're like, how am I going to be able to afford it? But my parents assured me like, it's going to be okay. We're probably going to have to take out financial aid or take out student loans, but you're going to be okay because we're going to pay it back and like you're going to be able to pay it back one day too but you're going to have to work hard now so that way you can finish and go to college. My family, I actually, sorry, sorry, crying. Both of my parents are from Mexico. My mom is from Jalisco or Guadalajara and my dad is from Sonora or Sinaloa. Um, great heart workers. My mom, she's from St. Louis. My dad's from um, Portland, Oregon. Um, they've really helped me so much throughout my years working and just encouraging me to go to college to finish and to make them proud and try to do better than they have before. Well, one of the reasons um, I was un unable to continue uh, my education after high school was because my senior year in high school, my dad suffered a uh, stroke. So um, being uh, Hispanic, um, I had to step up and provide financially for my parents since he was uh, the breadwinner. He was the one who provided for all of us. I, I cared for him financially. Um, as much as I could. After he passed, after eight years, I decided that it was, it was time for me to, to continue my education um, and, and basically pick up where I left off. I know that there's someone in the area, in the neighborhood, that believes in what I'm going to do in the future. I am going to put money towards my tuition and fees and housing for UTSA so that I'm able to graduate college and not have to worry about being in debt afterwards. I've been having a job since I was 15 because I know how important it is to have money to be able to um, carry myself. I think the scholarship really is going to be a big push for my um, educational career in the right direction of course. The fact that it's the San Antonio Association of Hispanic Journalists, it, it means a lot to me because you know I'm, I'm Hispanic and I feel like our, our culture, it needs to be emphasized in America. and. The fact that my dream has always been, you know, to be that voice for Mexican Americans, um, whether it's my actual voice or in writing, you know, this scholarship is really going to help me and 
help me achieve my dreams. Well, the money is going to go directly to my education, so um, just for my classes, for my tuition, and it's a really big help, um, especially with the financial hardship of my family. It really is allowing me to fulfill my educational needs. But this scholarship is giving me a big opportunity, like I can focus more on school and I don't have to, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? I have to work. This gives me like, huh, you can chill. You did work before and now you, you can like benefit and actually focus more on school. Yeah, I'm really grateful for this scholarship. So I'm a uh, proud Hispanic girl right here. To me, the scholarship is very important to me financially because we have not received very many scholarships and the tuition for Texas State is kind of expensive. Um, I see myself in 10 years as a photojournalist. Um, I hope to be an AP photojournalist or maybe a Getty Images photojournalist. And I also will hope to get experience in print newspaper. I would really like to uh, work at the Dallas Morning News. I hope to be writing stories that portray truth and showcase other people that are um, lesser known around the community, people that are making a difference that aren't well known about. I want to be able to showcase them and tell their story for them to enlighten others around the community. I'm pretty proud of saying that I got this scholarship because it does have to do with my major and hopefully with the job that I choose to pursue in the future. So I'll be very excited when I think about it because it makes me happy that I even get a scholarship in the first place. And I think I also have dismissed the challenges that I've come across so far because of how far I've come. For example, I'm winning the scholarship and that's a blessing in and of itself. The donors of the, the scholarship money, to them it's, you know, they really think it's a, it's a big cause and it is, but it's greater than they even know. A lot of times uh, there's words you can't, like I'm at a loss for words right now. There's, you can't even explain um, how thankful you are to be accepting those awards. And uh, looking back at, at all the financial stuff that, that our family has gone through and um, what we've had to overcome, you know, the scholarships like this, they really do help. And, uh, you know, I'm just blessed and thankful to have been able to get it. And I hope that what I create is able to inspire, inform, and just help others out. Um, just for people who are trying to get scholarships, keep going. You're going to get them. I know it may seem like the chances are small, but the world is on your side. And